Hey, it's your girl Cloudy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. But today I decided to try some TikTok hacks and specifically some beauty hacks that I found on TikTok. And I found them interesting and I just wanted to try them out because they've been going around through TikTok. But if you want to see that, just keep on watching. <laughs> on the side of the screen I'll probably get copyrighted don't know if I should leave the sound on but the first one that I wanted to do is this one which I'll play right now sis I'm about to change your whole life so instead of putting concealer and bronzer on after your foundation we're gonna do it before the key is to use a concealer that is much lighter than you would typically use. Now you're going to take your beauty blender and I like to use something to wet it. I don't use water. I like to use the Dewy Set Spray by Anastasia Beverly Hills and we're going to... I'm dramatic, I know. You're going to look like you just dumped your face in a bag of flour. That's okay. Now you're going to take a liquid bronzer shade that is much darker than you would typically use. At this point, you're probably going to scare yourself a little bit, but that's also okay. At this point, you should definitely be questioning me, but wait. Put your foundation on like you would normally do. This is what it looks like after foundation is on. Okay, she uses a concealer that's lighter than her face, basically. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and light peach. And we're just gonna put that on my face. And this one's very drying, so I need to hurry up. She also doesn't wet her beauty blender. She puts a spray. So I'm going to use a Mario Badescu skincare spray. And I'm just going to be a little extra like her and spray it all over. contour much darker so i'm gonna use the nyx can't stop won't stop in mocha and for cream contour i usually like to use a brush for it so i'm gonna use like a foundation stippling brush and that's what i use because they're all in fear of you this way foundation in porcelain that's the color and we're gonna wet my beauty blender again and dab it on my face so super bright under the eye but it is good the bronzer honestly completely just went away and it was much darker than my skin color so it's kind of like i don't know but i do put on translucent powder so that's what i'm gonna do next <laughs> I'm gonna use a cover FX 
the bronzer that's in silhouette and just bronze my face. Everything so far away. about it i'm not really used to doing all of that before my foundation i don't think that it made much of a difference because i feel like once i put the foundation on top of my contour like it just kind of my my contour and my concealer just kind of like went away my under eyes are bright so maybe the concealer was like a good step but for my cream contour like i didn't really like it because i still had to put a, a good amount of bronzer on top but I don't think it made much of a difference. So I feel like I'm going to stick to doing my foundation first, then my concealer, and then my cream contour. I personally like it best if you guys should try it out and tell me what you guys think. But I don't think that one's a yes for me. Did my eyeshadow. Did a very light purple, pinkish kind of look. Um, the next hack that I found um, could get messy really quick. So... We're gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna just coat it with liquid liner and hope that this does not go bad quick. Well, let's just try this out. Mm -mm. But I feel like if you stick it on. Yeah, it's not coming on. So. It came out like this. Let's see if I can. I feel like I can work with that. Some things begin new. Come out wherever you are. This honestly gets really messy really quick. If you guys want to take your time on doing this, I say you try it out. Maybe it'll work with you, but I did not like it. So I'm gonna take off eyeliner that I did do. It looks good. Like from far i'm pretty sure but when you go up close you can see how thick it is and i personally do not like it like that so i'm just gonna remove it and do my eyeliner real quick i personally did not like that tiktok hack it did not work for me it was a no for me i did the, i used a similar one that she did the similar floss and it was really messy really quick as you guys could see i think just doing your eyeliner normally is quicker faster easier my perspective the third TikTok hack that I want to try is the third beauty hack. Beauty TikTok hack that I want to try is this one. So let's. I do not have any black. Um eyelash glue i usually tend to use a white or clear one um at the moment i have the duo brush on adhesive and it's white so i'm kind of debating but we're gonna try it either way and see how this works i'm gonna try to do it as close to the lash line as possible that i can pretty easily I, it kind of shocked me at how easy it was to put it on i tend to put it on with my fingers because i struggle with the actual lash thing but that was honestly one of the easiest things to do i'm kind of shocked at how easy that came on i'm so sorry i'm just like really easy honestly you guys should try it out like this is a good idea 
maybe if I had black um, eyelash glue, it would work way better. I did not struggle on putting them on. It was pretty easy because I've struggled way more. The only thing I didn't like is that it did make the eyeliner a little messier. And it was just like moving the eyeliner. But it looks, other than that, it looks pretty good. Came on really quickly. So the next hack that I want to try is, I've heard this one before. I'm pretty sure a lot of people use this already. But I wanted to try it out, so let's just play the meeting. Here's some makeup tips that you didn't even know you needed. So when applying highlight, um, after you apply the first layer, put setting spray on and then apply it again, and it'll be 10 times as bold. Using the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls highlight, and we're just going to apply it regularly. <laughs> setting spray so i'm gonna be using the Too faced hangover during one replenishing primer and setting spray and we're just gonna spray that all over my face now we're gonna go back on that same highlight and apply it again i'm usually the person that packs on their highlight so if the first one it doesn't look nice i just keep hacking it on but i think this is an easier step if you just want to do it quickly i recommend you guys try that one if you haven't already because i know a lot of people do already but i just don't do that i tend to just apply my setting spray in the end but that's a pretty good hack um i've been seeing this one go around basically all over tiktok and i wanted to try it so let's play it right I was watching a YouTube video where it says you supposedly grab like one of your powders and you put it in like a wipe, a wet wipe, and you hold it like this, wrap it really tight, and then you're supposed to be able to clean your palette without it touching the shadows. So I'm going to try it on my James Charles palette. It's working! Oh my gosh. I'm going to use a Neutrogena wipe. And I'm going to use my airspun loose powder. And like she said, just wrap it around. So we're basically just going to grab it, put it like that, and then just wrap it around. I think that hack worked. It did take off a lot of the excess now that I take it off. It did take it off and it was in a circle. That's why it looks like that. But my James Charles palette is honestly pretty clean and it did not touch any of the shadows. So it did clean it pretty well. So if you have any dirty palettes, I say you, you do this because this is honestly a lifesaver because I know I'm very messy when I do my eyeshadow overall most of them were okay but i'm not the biggest fan of a lot of them i think the best ones that i did was the translucent cleaning one the eyeliner as the lash glue is eyeliner and the highlight one those were my favorite ones but i do not really like the putting your concealer in contour before and i don't really i didn't like the eyeliner one because that one just got messy really bad but other than that i think the rest were pretty great that is the end of my video thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and if you have any other tiktok hacks that you want me to try let me know leave them on the comments and i will try it out i want to do some like food hacks that i've seen on tiktok i want to see not just beauty so but this is my first one so this is like tiktok hacks part one and i hope you enjoyed that but I'll see you next time.